start with this Red Hulk news that's going around. Please switch up the screens, mon ami. Okay, let's hear it. Let's go. Yeah, voilà. So, the MCU's Red Hulk theories just got way more likely. Harrison Ford's Thunderbolt Ross has long been rumored to become Red Hulk in Captain, Mer Captain America Brave New World, and a new reveal seemingly confirms that. And following a new reveal, the theories that Red Hulk is in Captain America Brave New World have become more likely. Chris Evans' Steve Rogers was the first Captain America of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, leading three good to fantastic Captain America movies and appearing in at least one MCU movie every year from the debut in 2011's Captain America The First Adventure to 2019's Avengers Endgame. The latest Avengers movie saw Rogers grow old and pass his shield on to Anthony Mackie's Sam Wilson. Sam graduated from the Falcon to the MCU's new Captain America in the Disney Plus uh, show Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Now the MCU, MCU's new Sentinel of Liberty, Mackie's Sam Wilson, will be leading Captain America Brave New World's cast marking his first solo film. Captain America Brave New World's story gives a prominent role to Harrison Ford's Thunderbolt Ross, the actor replaced by the late William Hurt in the role. Ross has been rumored to become Red Hulk as he does in the comics in the movie, and it now seems like that transformation is all but confirmed. At the Towers Oracle shared on Twitter a look at the Captain America Brave New World crew jacket, the filming wrap gift... The, sorry, the, the, the filming rap gift for the MCU movie's crew seemingly confirms that Ford will become Red Hulk in the movie as the calendar's hand can be seen grabbing Captain America's shield. Oh, AJ, look at this. Look at this tweet. Ooh, Captain America ooh, Brave that, New World jacket right. with Red Hulk hand. Is this all a dream? Are we actually getting the Red Hulk? Your thoughts? Oh, it would be nice. It would be nice. Um, what's really cool, actually, I'm not 100% sure, but I did see a, 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 something saying that Mark Ruffalo will actually also be in Brave New World. So it, it, it kind of points into that direction. If we've got Hulk, then a bit of Red Hulk in there as well. Um, Thunderbolt Ross. Look, it's been, we've had too much of um, good old Thunderbolt there and we've been waiting. <laughs> we've been waiting every time we see him and we can see him hating. So you have to be kind of into your, your comic book stuff to know this. But yeah, if you know, you know. <laughs> And if you know, you're waiting. So <laughs> with that little gift, even if it's not by this movie, but it then becomes the um, closing, because we all know a true Marvel fan waits for the end. And if that's the post credit, <laughs> I'm down with it. Let, let, let's work with it. And then that now starts to give us a bit of excitement for this phase that we've not really been enjoying. Even if it opens up phase five, I'm not opposed. But give us something to look forward to, because it's been a while since people have been talking about a post-credit. So will it be in the film? Possibly not, because there are other villains in that. But that would be a nice post-credit. I actually think technically we are in phase five now. Finally. Um, who knows? Like they, they don't make these phases very definitive and clear ending like they used to. But I think technically speaking, we've entered phase five now, but I may be wrong. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say you're going to see Red Hulk halfway through the movie. This isn't going to be something you see at the end. This is going to be he's going to be a prominent, prominent character in this film. Do I worry amidst the frankly boring soundbite that people are regurgitating about how people are bored of comic book movies they're not but we're going to get on that in the next topic um do i worry that this might seem a bit like reaching for the barrel the bottom of the barrel reaching for the absolute bottom cesspool because look let's be real dr strange 2 the multiverse of man has had plenty of easter eggs but while people like yourself, Big Tone and I, when we heard Earth 616, were nudging each other going, <laughs> and nerding out, most people were like, huh? And then- Yeah, there are some parts that won't be, yeah. There are, and I'll be the first to say, as a, a bona fide Doctor Strange nut job, and I say that by the hoary hosts of Hogarth and the Ruby Rings of Ragador, come at me, um, but it, it was too geeky. And it was geeky at the expense of story substance, which becomes visual noise. Hey, 10 points. Um, and and they, they, surely enough, that impression has caught on because the multiverse is kind of boring. 
because it's just an excuse to say you're dead, but you're not. So we can bring you back. And this happened, but it kind of didn't. So that can happen. And but don't pay attention to all that. Look, I present to you Red Hulk. Look, we have something cool and geeky here. It's like I'm excited to see him. But my nerdgasm will very quickly dissipate if there's not enough story to back him up. And sadly, the ongoing trend hasn't been a fatigue, but the ongoing trend has been lack of story substance. So I'm excited, but I worry because of recent developments in the MCU. Anything you want to add to this? So Yeah, I'm um, sorry. Basically, we're kind of in the same breath. That's why I wanted it as a teaser. Because I would like to develop a story where it you know to expect this story. I know the rights to Hulk aren't there, so he needs to be within somebody else's story. But I feel there's too much going on already with trying to establish Sam. Because, let's be honest, not everyone who rushes to the cinema is rushing to watch a Disney Plus series. So they saw... To them, it's Endgame and now. So you've really got to build that world and show what's been happening in his world. Then to start throwing in the Hulk and then start putting in the Red Hulk, it's too messy. Let's try and find another way of inserting that. It is too messy, but stay tuned for our for our Deadpool show, uh, for our Deadpool show, for our Deadpool video, or for the Deadpool segment if you're watching the full news show, depending on what you're watching on on YouTube. I'm going to give a little bit of a theory on Hulk, but not just Hulk, AJ. Stay tuned for more.